Well, number one, uh, I was excited as I could possibly be. You know, I mean, for me to have an opportunity to coach at my alma mater was an unbelievable opportunity for me. You know, I mean, uh, Fort Lewis has done so much for me. I mean, I, I was recruited by the fort. I played at the fort. I, you know, got my first coaching job at the fort. My wife went to the fort. You know, I, I have just have so much passion for Durango and for the university that I couldn't be more excited about being given this opportunity. Well, um, you know, since I've spoken with the team, it, I really I've just told them that, you know, you have one of your own standing up here in front of you. I used to sit in those same seats that you guys are sitting in, and uh, you know, I understand what you go through at this at this school and at uh, Fort Lewis College, and you know, I understand what it takes to be successful there. You know, I've been a coach on successful teams there and I've been a player on successful teams there so I just want to share with them uh, you know anything I can to help them in the transition. Well I can tell you this much there's not a practice field that looks like ours anywhere in the nation. You know when you go stand on our practice field and you look out at the La Plata's and you get a chance to see Parents Peak and look north through the valley it's unbelievable. I mean the walk to the practice field is amazing every day you know and and so I, I love that part of it. I love the people in Durango you know I've gotten to know uh, you know, a lot of my closest friends, I've gotten to know a lot of, a lot of good folks throughout the, my time in Durango. And I, you know, it's a, it's a great place for me. Got family and friends there, so. Well, I, t I think if you look at our entire season from last year, you know, we ended up four and seven, but we were really only probably about 10 plays away from being eight and three. And as you, as you look at it, I mean, I think our big thing was learning how to finish. You know, the season before we graduated, something like 18 seniors. And you know, when you lose that many guys, you have a bunch of new players step and into new roles and they have to learn how to finish games and how to win you know so it was uh, I think through the off season you know we were able to to you know become more of a unit you know and I and I feel like that uh, you know every little kid when he steps underneath the kitchen table when he's young he might bump his head and the second time he remembers to duck so hopefully we learn from those mistakes and I think that really helped us out in the offseason. Well, what's, what's the defense kind of looks like? Uh, you know I mean the defensively we we returned some really good quality players I think uh, you know uh, we lose some some pretty valuable players as well you know we lost uh, you know Shane Nelson and we lost Andrew Ike who was an all-conference player for us Shane was a three-year starter but it gives a great opportunity for you know guys like Darian Stickney and Isaiah Mayberry to to step in there and and uh, you know go and and try to become leaders and move into a starting role. You know, defensively we're we're going to do what we do and we're going to try to play fast and and uh, you know try to keep that offense on the field as much as possible. Well, I tell you what, you know, Bo is uh, is one of those guys that ha he he really you got to really watch him improve last year. You know, I mean, he didn't start for us until about week three, and then once he took over, every week he actually grew and. You know, got a little bit better every single week, and you know, you, we have to be able to to control the football, number one, and not turn it over. You know, and uh, I think if if we do a good job doing that, our offense is gonna gonna have a lot of success. Well, you know, I just want to see our guys play hard. You know, number one, um, the wins and losses take care of themselves, but if we execute, we take care of our assignment, and we take care of ourselves and our own assignment. We're actually taking care of all 11 guys. So I feel like if we if we go out and we uh, you know. We, we play hard and we, we play well, that scoreboard's gonna take care of itself. Well, you know, um, I know at this point that everything's gonna fall on my shoulders, you know, and so I'm, I'm excited that I don't have anyone to blame. You know, it's, uh, it's always fun when, when you go out and, and you put the product out there and you get a chance to, to see your guys go out and compete, you know, for Fort Lewis and for us, you know, which is it's pretty fun. Well, first of all, you know, he was one of the only coaches in college football to give me a call and ask me to come down and, and see Fort Lewis, so uh, he means a lot to me and I'm, I'm you know very uh, proud to see him you know grow up to be you know become my head coach and I, I couldn't be more proud and you know like I said to you see him take over the take over the reins and I, I'm really looking forward to this season so I, I don't think anything's gonna change he's gonna he's the same guy uh, he's he's gonna yell at us and that's that's all good that's coach Morris for you and you know like I said looking really really looking forward to it well I you know we came in together with both four-year guys um, he we, we, we started off, you know, 
you know, bonding really early on. So I think that's going to carry on to the field. You know, I, I look to him, he looks to me. I think we're going to we're going to lead the offense to to some great things, and we got a bunch of guys that are going to add to it and just going to create something you know awesome for Fort Lewis, and we're going to represent. And uh, I think we're going to stun a lot of people this year. You know, it's going to be new, and it's going to be kind of kind of a new step. You know, when when fall camps comes around next week, but it, it's something that we all look forward to, and there are, there are new challenges. And you know, I'm going to step up in, in every way I can. Um, you know, I, I do everything. I block. I catch. I, you know, I help the offense in any way I can. Um, and Coach Johnson is going to do a great job with the O line, and we're going to have five great guys come in. We brought in some really good JUCO guys, and I think they're going to contribute a lot. And uh, the the middle of our line is going to be you know our strongest point. Um, Caleb Barham is going to be t returning back at left guard, and I think he's going to be an asset to us in that department. I think if we bring uh, the the passing game to to Fort Lewis, I think we're going to be an offense to be reckoned with. You know, I'm 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 a quiet guy. I, I do try and lead by example. Um, you know, my my co my uh, old high school coach always told me, you know, leaders lead, and um, you know, and as being a senior, you know, I've, I've done it before. I got I got to try and get back to it. Um, I'm looking forward to the challenges that you know senior leader you know entails, and um, you know I got, kind of got my first taste of it with OJ and I were captain at, at Pueblo last year, and and uh, I got a taste of it, and I really you know look forward to it and accepting that, and you know I'm going to do whatever I can to to help the rest of the guys come into fruition and and really establish Fort Lewis again. Yeah, it is right around the corner. You know I'm nervous. It's, it might be my last year ever putting on a helmet again, and you know I, I, you got to love it though. I mean this is this is everything that that I have been working for my entire life from you know my dad standing back there who you know coached me growing up um, coach norm's always been there mom's always been their sport and I can always hear her on the sidelines so um, it's gonna be it's gonna be an emotional season but you know like I said I, I'm looking forward to it I can't wait um, it's gonna be you know a year of you know it's the year of the 17 as, as I like to call it so um, I'm excited I'm really excited he brings a lot of like energy and youth because we've had we've had older coaches for the last few years and I feel like we, we're going in the same direction, but it's definitely a younger coach, different coach than we've had before, and he's de you can definitely feel the excitement and energy radiating off of him every day. You step into the building, and, you know, it's we're ready to go. It's it's a work day every day, so it's definitely just a new energy, and we're really excited. I mean, this is my this is my, this guy recruited me. He's my position coach. I've known this. Yeah, I mean, I've this is, close coach. I was closest with anyway before, so it just it just means that it, I'm just more confident in our team. And I know I, I know I can trust what our coach is going to do. He's always going to put us in the right position and the best position to help us win so I mean having a defensive coach definitely has its perks but I mean it's no, nothing new we're just the same focus just want to win games not so much as something clicked I we've traditionally just been a slow starting team and not in only in games but in the season where we tend to play our best football more towards the middle and the end of the season and that's been a focus this year especially just making sure we start we start fast and finish strong so it, not, nothing really clicked per se it was just more we came together and we became more of a team and executed how we were supposed to. So I don't feel any pressure to step up. This is a team game. You know, this isn't you know tennis or any other sport where it's you, you're the only guy on the court. I've got ten other teammates on the field at any given time that are going to help me. So it's it's no more pressure than you know any than it normally was. It's more pressure to win. I just want to win every year. So that's the only pressure I really feel. Is that what kind of senior leader you want to be this year? I'm not a rah rah guy personally. If it, I, my teammates know that. Um, I, I try to lead more by example, so yeah, I mean, I'm going to be the first guy there working hardest, so I'm not going to say anything, you know. I'm just going to try and have the other guys see what I do and follow that and lead by example. Around the corner. I wish we were, play I wish we were playing today, honestly, man. I'm so excited. I, I don't even want to be in this interview. I want to play right now. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely excited for the season. I can't wait. See, it. you know, every summer, I, that's the only thing. It's circa the first game of my calendar every, every year. Just, I can't wait. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't think anything's really changed between the with the coaching change. You know, Morse has been here, and it's been a privilege playing for him. And same with Coach Riff. Coach Riff is still going to be here, you know, but we're just the guys we bring in, the guys we got returned, we're real excited to have Coach Morris here and still have Riff there as well because, you know, Riff's a great football mind. And Coach Morris got us all real excited for the season. So, you know, we're coming with a lot of excitement, a lot of energy. So we're excited. Did you hear that, Coach? Privilege. You know, I try to lead by example, but I also want to be one of the guys that can – help guys out, you know, talk to them, get them through situations. Uh, I'm, I'm used to it. You know, I've always been a leader through high school and even growing up when I was little. And my dad's helped me out with that. My mom, they kind of pushed me to be leaders. 
and you know coach Morris and these and OJ and AJ have helped me out be leaders as well because we came in the same year so yeah no I think we're trying to roll off of that you know got a couple wins at the end of the season uh, like I said you know we got the coach Morris coming in we're real excited you know the seniors we've all been together growing up here for four years four or five years so we're just ready to get going just get rolling with the new guys coming in and all that you know his excitement for the game he loves it he pushed everybody he after the season he pushed me in the weight room you know and he's every single day he doesn't let me miss nothing so I appreciate him like that and him being a leader he's done a great job with the team making sure everyone's there pushing themselves to their best ability so you know he comes out he's the top guy on the offense right now leading and we appreciate him so yeah no Drake was a great running back you know obviously broke a school record you know he did his thing we had a great old line so a lot goes out to those five guys you know they did their job to help us but we still got PJ Hall who's been a workhorse for us you know he's done great ever since I've been here we brought in another running back uh, Tyler Telfy you know he's an athlete he's great he's been great you know I'm just kind of trying to keep my game the same you know I believe in the old line they're going to do a great job they push themselves so I do it for them, so hopefully I could succeed for those guys and the rest of the guys on the team. You know, we brought in a lot of excitement, is what I would say. Uh, guys who transferred in, I've talked to them, and they're all excited to get going, like I said. That's probably the word I'd say for the season, excited, with all the changes and new guys bringing in, but, uh, you know, we're just ready to get going, ready for day one.